Hi there. In this video I'm going to upgrade the hard drive in this uh, Lenovo 12.5 inch Yoga convertible to an SSD, a Samsung in this case. To do this, obviously remove the power and remove all the screws on the back of this thing. I have one screw missing right here because the corner was damaged, so I have a screw less than you will have. So let's remove them in high speed. Screws are removed. Now you need to pry out this uh, top cover. I recommend you to use a plastic tool or something like that, but I will use a knife uh, just to lift the corner a tiny bit so I can uh, put my fingernails under this. And now with my fingernails I'm prying, uh, prying it out. It might be a bit more difficult for you. This has been opened before and it's uh, uh, it seen some uh, use during time as you can see from this corner this is how i bought it so i didn't do that again it might be a bit more difficult for you but this is how it uh, comes apart at this point i just want to add that i have the, the ssd if I, it's a 850 evo 500 gig ssd from samsung i might actually remove this sticker is from the guys that I always uh, buy from, computers in Leeds. Let's make sure we don't have any glue marks on it, although it doesn't actually matter, but yeah, whatever. Let's clean it up. Okay, it's cleaned. Come on. And what we also need, and I really do recommend you to buy something like this, this is an USB to SATA adapter. You can plug in a hard drive or an SSD just like this and connect it to uh, USB. Uh, this model actually even has a, a cover that you put the hard drive or SSD in and with that cover you connect it here and you can use it as an external hard drive. So this is a few dollars, something like this. I really, really, really do recommend you to buy one. And my phone is ringing, so I'll be back in a second. And I'm back. At this point we are at this level, we need to undo the screws that hold the hard drive uh, caddy inside this uh, convertible. Two of them, one here, one here. And at this point you can actually lift it and pull it away from the connector. And this is significant, significantly heavier than my SSD, so this will be a bit lighter when I put the SSD in. If you are wondering what this is, is the, the LED for the ThinkPad uh, red uh, dot on the other side, obviously. So now we need to undo the screws. Uh, I think it only has three screws. It should have four, but whatever. And uh, put the SSD in here. This is a, a 320 gig uh, Hard drive, uh, hard drive that we are replacing here, a Seagate. If you don't want to put an SSD and you are just upgrading the hard drive, make sure you buy a slim hard drive. This is slim. This is, I think, 7 millimeters. A 9 millimeter most likely will not fit in this thing. So, yeah, if you are just replacing uh, the hard drive with another one, get a slim one. If you are putting an SSD, all SSDs are slim, so that is quite easy. Now let's put uh, this thing back. I want to make sure I put it the right way around, so it needs to go in like this. And I'm going to put back the screws. Oh. 
for three of them weirdly enough but again <laughs> I bought this uh, second hand and surely somebody did modifications to the, this thing uh, at a point in time okay let's put this back in here and push it until it connects lower it in place and put back uh, these screws at this point this particular SSD is empty if you want to reinstall everything on it and don't have any data on your original hard drive that you want to keep you are basically finished at this point you just need to start uh, Windows 10 or whatever install but I want to clone what was in here through this to this hard drive so I'm going to put back the cover and continue from there At this point the empty SSD is in, if I try to power this thing on it will do nothing because it has nothing on the SSD and because I want to clone my data from the hard drive I need to connect it through this thing, plug it into an SSD, ideally you have uh, also the power brick connected like I have it here because you don't want your uh, battery to run out. And I'm going to boot from this and use a cloning software, in my case I will use Acronis True Image to clone this to the internal SSD. So let's power this thing on and press F12 if I can actually see it for the boot menu. Hope it will actually take the key. And it doesn't like some, something. So I might sim simply, I cannot talk today at all, I might simply power it off and then back on again. And in some cases uh, it just doesn't like to boot with everything connected. Uh, to prevent this I can actually unplug the hard drive, power it off. I've seen this on other laptops, it's quite random, not sure what. Uh, causes this and now I'm going to press F12 or it might actually not like my USB drive. In this case I will try the USB drive in the port on this other side and see if it accepts it here not connecting the hard drive yet. And it seems it does not. This might make things a bit complicated. Let me try and power it on without anything connected to the USB ports. It might actually not like the SSD that we put in. And that would kind of uh, suck, but yeah. I'm going to let it stay like this and see if it does something or it just freezes at this point. So be back in a moment. As you can see it sees it, the second I uh, tried to stop the video it actually started. Those errors that you've seen are because uh, the BIOS was updated in this thing and uh, the serial got removed from the BIOS. So yeah, I'm going to fix that in another video. So it sees this but it just waits a really 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 long time to boot. Uh, we cannot boot from the hard drive again, it's empty so I'm going to plug everything back in and just wait a lot when this thing is powering on quite w a weird situation but hey it is what it is ignore those errors usb hdd uh, yummy i can put a link to it in the description of the video you can create bottable drives with various softwares on them 
a crony is true image you can use any cloning software there are a ton of them online so I'm using this one because I'm used to how it works and takes less time for me because I actually know how it works yeah if it, that makes sense so next uh, I will come back when this loads it takes a bit of time what I'm doing next is quite specific to this particular software so I need to go to tools and utilities add new disk and uh, initialize the Samsung SSD which already seems to have some data on it it's a uh, temporary hmm I might want to see what that data is actually be back in a moment exactly at the same step uh, step because I, I didn't know uh, this thing in theory it, I, it should be empty but it seems to have some data on it so yeah be back in a moment haha <laughs> found what it was I actually used the SSD to clone uh, the hard drive of a friend's computer <laughs> yeah we can initialize it that means wiping off everything master boot record mode next it will be empty proceed and it's done now i'm going to go to uh, whoa, no to recover sorry sorry error i need to clone clone disk uh, automatic yeah, better manual so I want to clone this one which is on USB next to this next copy partitions without changes that doesn't mean the size it's the style of partition if I do changes it will not boot anymore so no uh, size manual next so yeah let's see the sizes it will do a 155 gig and a 300 gig hmm. mm. yeah let's see edit this second one and allow from some uh come on are you not working yeah this is quite annoying okay oh this uh, this touch doesn't like uh, this operating system okay I made some free space now edit this one and I, what another partition is between them I think yeah this little one is between them so I'm going to click it and edit it and let's go to make going to make it bigger to be able to move it come on move little partition why are you not moving going to get it aside i will change it back to what it was and now this partition i have free space right after it unallocated so i'm going to click on edit and go to I don't know 200 gig and accept and now this one edit put it where it was and make it one gig it was 500 and something megs one gig is way plenty and then edit the last one and use the little hand okay wrong Come on, little hand, do what you are supposed to do. But space zero. Nah, it. Let's put a weird number that doesn't exist, and then it will actually try. Megs, gigs. It will use the whole uh, available space to make it as big as possible. This one, I have no idea what's up with it. I'm not going to bother. And that's about it. So. 200 gig and 264 whatever for D so next
this is what uh, it will show up after it finishes and proceed and it will do the copy process so be back when it finishes and we will boot this thing up from the SSD As you can see we are booting from SSD, this is the hard drive, everything that was in here is cloned to the SSD. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it works uh, as easy for you as it did for me. And uh, yeah, if this video helps you, give it a like, it really does uh, help my channel. Subscribe to my channel and as always, see you in the next one. Bye!